<laughs> Whoa, we really had a dance competition. That is, when I think about uh, having the opportunity to give away $10,000, I'm just like, $10,000 contest, old school hip hop. We really got this competition done. It was a long journey. We did it. Las Vegas happened. Um, one blessed team called God's Anointed Crew went away with $10,000. Um, the contest was a very amazing experience. Las Vegas was a blessing. The way Las Vegas came about as a hosting place for the Treat em Right Summer Tour and competition just came about in the most amazing way. It all started with Chubb Rock himself. When I say that, it started with Chubb Rock himself. I'm just like, wow, that really happened. Chubb Rock literally reached out to me with the viral videos that we were having, and he said, we have to keep this going. And he started connecting me with his friends because we were all in this together, wanting the same vision, the same goal of uplifting the community. It's really just like, she did it for the fun of it. She wanted people to come together and as a family or as friends and become closer with this competition. That was her whole point. It wasn't even about the money. It was about getting people closer together, and that was really cool. Now that we're going to Vegas, I need somebody to be the judge. Who better to judge the competition than the artist himself of our virtual Treat em Right dance competition? Chubb Rock, he agreed. Chubb Rock agreed to judge the competition. Okay, this competition is definitely going to the next level now. We are definitely official now. This is definitely meant to happen now. That was really cool for her. She was like, oh my gosh, I've been dancing to his song and he found me, he saw me. And that's really how they met. My reaction to meeting Chubb Rock, it was very cool. Like, I was like, OMG, this is the person we've been dancing to for all of these months. Everything he said spoke volumes. He doesn't really just say things to say things, doesn't seem like. He's an amazing person. His message is so inspiring. I have learned a whole lot about him. So after meeting him and being able to connect with him and see what kind of person he is, I wish I would have been more excited. I remember exactly where I was when that song, Treat Em Right, came out. Uh, I was actually, I remember the first time I played it, uh, I was actually DJing at an event in college uh, at a dance. And so that brought back a lot of memories and I know the song very well and, and I know the hip hop history behind it. My mom got her contest in Las Vegas. She, you know, she, for doing choreography to Chubb Rock song. And now he's going to be out in Vegas with her during the, you know, during this contest. It just, I feel like it just made sense. And I, I feel, you know, shout out to Chubb Rock for sure. Chubb Rock is an amazing artist. He's an amazing MC, an amazing person. And I just thought that really fit well with um, wanting to make old school dance relevant again. Can we get him back? Yes, we can. Can we get him back? The good old days. Hey, listen, the reason I wanted to do old school dance is number one, it's where my dance, my passion for dance came from. Hip hop dance. Back in the day, late 80s, early 90s, you know, watching the videos, BET and MTV. I chose the song Chub Rock Treat Em Right. First of all, it's an instant classic. It's over 30 years old, so it definitely fits the old school feel. Um, thinking back to the day where we were on the block parties and the family reunions and, you know, Club City, when Treat Em Right came on, everybody was up. Everybody was moving. Everybody was feeling good. It crossed, uh, it crossed race lines. It didn't matter if you was black or white. No matter what your race, creed, color is, Treat Em Right, transcends them all. You can hear that music and your heart moves, your soul jumps. And so that was the reason that I picked Treat Em Right by Chubb Rock. Generation X is still in style. We're in our late 30s, late 40s, doing our thing, still full of life. We needed to remember what it was to be young at heart, to have movement in our bodies that um, brought us joy. So I wanted to fill the gap. Old school it is. I specialize in making sure that you understand what old school dance is, what the names of the moves are. Most people don't even know that those old school moves had names. Hi, I'm Monique Moore and Marie is our neighbor right across the street. So listen, dancing with Marie is like awesome. 
and it's fun. And I've danced um, in many places on Miss Marie's property. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> danced on her front yard, we danced in the backyard, we danced in a dancing room, we've danced just in general out on the driveway. We've danced a lot and knowing that Miss Marie is a really good dance instructor because I've learned some moves from her. It's Keep hip hop dance alive and hip hop music in the culture because a lot of the stuff that is done today in the new school dance come from old school. She's doing what she's always done. Uh, the only difference now is that it's gaining a massive following, but with or without TikTok, Instagram, you know, she would be doing that regardless. So for me, uh, it hasn't really changed things much. Um, I'm enjoying seeing her enjoy it. Our neighbor Marie, she is very chill, very sweet, and very spontaneous. She'd be like, girl, what you doing today? I think she's really sweet. She's taking time to like teach us how to dance, teach us new moves, let us yeah. be able to be like in her videos. She is down to earth. She's as real as they come. I remember when we moved in this neighborhood and we were like, hey, you know, we're your neighbors. We're moving across mm -hmm. the street. And she was real with us. I love her energy. And uh, she hasn't changed. All this time with the TikTok and all the notoriety, it hasn't changed her a bit. Yeah. We're still cool. We can still sure. knock on the door, ring the bell, and we get the same Marie as when we moved in a few years ago. I knew I, I knew she was somebody special. And I've told her for years, I was like, girl, you need your own TV show. You're going to be on. Like, I just see it. I'm going to take credit. Um, <laughs> I told my mom one day, I was like, you need to get a TikTok, like, you're cool, you can dance and stuff, people are gonna love you. And she's like, you know, I'll think about it. And she eventually got a TikTok. Well, it started on TikTok. I wasn't really on TikTok, so I didn't really realize, you know, what was going on, like, really. And then Instagram started. All these followers, Ooh, my mom said, look, 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 she had this uh, 700K, like, I'm like, whoa. Not on Instagram, like that's that's big because that's what everybody is. So honestly, one of her first few, I think it was like her third video that she ever posted, blew up. I was like, Mom, like I didn't ex like I knew you were gonna get big, but it happened so fast. She started doing Chub Rock, and people loved it. My first memory of you going viral, I think it was a Chris Brown song and uh, you were out on the porch and you're dancing too. I was actually recording that video and you were talking about it. It was like, cause it kept like, oh, I got this many and the views went up and just keep things kept happening. And I think even Chris Brown had liked it, but it was just like that insane. And it's like, okay, she's getting recognized by celebrities. That's huge. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Like seeing your neighbor on your FYP because like I've seen Miss Marie so many times like dancing with patients, Mina. So it's really fun like knowing that your neighbor is famous and you've gotten up an opportunity to dance with her. Oh my goodness. So I got choreography done to Chubb Rock Street and Right. Um, decided to do it by myself, you know, just to see how the people were feeling about it on my platform. Um, posted the video. You know, people were liking it. It had a few likes here and there, um, but something was missing. Um, I decided to bring my daughters in on. You know, I taught them the old school moves. They really got into them, and we hit that thing. We nailed it. I brought one daughter in, then two daughters in, then three daughters in, then we all ended up doing it. And the more we did it, it took off. It just went viral. I enjoy watching them dance, and I enjoy recording, and I enjoy sitting here, not dancing, so really. <laughs> yeah, I like my position. <laughs> I personally am not much of a dancer, but uh, I don't mind like recording or doing like simple dances, like the easy TikTok moves. I've been in several TikToks. Uh, most of the time she catches me just in the background doing my thing. If Typically gonna be in the kitchen cooking something because that's where she, she's gonna do a lot of, of her TikToks. So uh, occasionally I'll get in on one and we'll, you know, you guys usually love it. Uh, on the back end is what you don't see. <laughs> usually grab me and when I agree to do a TikTok, it's usually spurred a moment. She's like, come on baby, do a TikTok and I'll be in a good mood. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's go do it. And then five minutes later, nobody's in a good mood. <laughs> the reason we went vir viral is because we were on TikTok and it was COVID and everybody was dancing and trying to stay motivated and sane through such a, hard and difficult time in our lives, in the country, in the world. 
I was actually going through a lot mentally during that time, and and she started going viral, and it kind of brought a lot of light into my darkness, which was pretty balancing for me. I woke up one day and I started getting text messages from everybody saying, did you see? Did you see? Did you see your video went viral? Did you see that people are starting to share it? So we have Viola Davis, Jada Pinkett Smith, Wayne Brady, um, Drew Barrymore. It's just, it's, it's just so many of them. When I realized that uh, Marie had, you know, gone viral, I think it was around the time when I saw Wayne Brady was like, who auntie is dancing like this? And then he was doing a side by side, doing all the old school dances. So that's that's like my first memory of like, wow, okay, my girl is, is she going far right now? People know who she is and I'm excited. I'm excited for her and I'm happy for her. Because she's like a celebrity to me and she will always be a celebrity to me. First time that I got really excited though was when I saw her on uh, Kelly and Ryan. And I was like, yo, that's my neighbor. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like I always knew she was gonna get there and I was so happy. And I was talking to a friend of mine and my friend was like, yo, you gotta see this lady on yes. TikTok. Yes, I forgot. Because she that. is killing it. I forgot about that. And I was like, yo, okay, all right, who are you talking about? So <laughs> she shows me this video and it's Marie and I start laughing. And she's like, what you laughing at? I was like, you know her. I'm not gonna say her name. I was like, you know her. That's my neighbor across the street. And she was like, oh, no, shut up. So I've been a big Wayne Brady fan for years. I think he's a just a, just incredibly talented uh, actor, comedian. Uh, so um, yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, whoa, yeah, <laughs> you know, like wow, this is this is this is incredible. Viola Davis, um, I, that was uh, again. Um, a big deal. So along with going viral, I began to get calls from um, places who wanted to feature me. I started getting calls from people like Drew Barrymore, um, Right This Minute, Voyage ATL, California News, Southern, South, Southern California News, Fox News, the Shade Room, which was pretty amazing. I said, I turned the Shade Room positive for a day. It was the most beautiful thing. Just so many contacts and opportunities to um, get the word out about the Mooring Bunch, Marie Busta Moves and her family. So one of the biggest mentions that I had was the Viola Davis award-winning actress. She loves the WAP. And then from there, you know, BET started sharing me. BET Her, which is their women's platform to highlight women, black women around the world. BET is actually where I learned all my old school dances, all the old videos and all the old school music that they played back in the day before we had social media. That's how I learned. That's how I recorded the videos and then rewind and play again. You know, um, and so to have them to share me doing those moves really, really was heartfelt. Thanks, BET. <laughs> I knew that I had created a lane for old school dance revolution. Well, my mom went viral on TikTok doing her treat and write uh, choreography. I went viral with her a couple times, me and my sister. Everybody was learning it, everybody wanted to learn it. Me and my mom did a whole tutorial video on the treat and write dance. It's a whole 30 minute video breaking down each move. I remember her, her video got to like 10 million views and I was just like, oh my gosh. And she just kept doing it, people kept loving it. That's when she was like, you know what? I can do something big with my platform and I'm gonna make a contest for dancers, old school dancers. We wanted to bring some fun back and also give back because we were phenomenally uh, blessed with opportunities. After we went viral, everything, our lives just changed. So, you know, we wanted to give back. I was introduced to a promoter who was having an event in Las Vegas called The Urban Experience. Randy Richardson had this event called The Urban Experience and we were invited to bring the Treat and Right $10,000 competition to the event. And my mom was just so excited. And it was his first annual event. It's my first annual event, so it made sense. We partnered up and it was a success. So we've chosen Las Vegas at the beautiful Excalibur Hotel and Casino right on the beautiful strip 
um, we've got eight months to get everything together. It is March 2021. The competition is September, Labor Day weekend 2021, and we had to hit the ground running. I told my daughters, I told my family, I said, listen, we're doing this. They said, okay. I remember the first time I heard about the contest in Vegas was like April or May of 2021. And at first it was like, oh, Vegas, that's like forever away. That place doesn't even exist. And then time built up to it. Like entries were coming in, like uh, suitcases were being packed. Just everything was just coming up to that moment. You know, immediately we got um, flyers and announcements together to let our audience and our supporters know that we this contest was happening. We got us a marketing strategy together and we put it to work. We did not miss a day. On the daily, me and my mom uh, did a lot of brainstorming about how we wanted the competition to go. It took a few trial and errors. It was through her platform, through flyers, through traveling to like different places. Went to Atlanta, North Carolina. She told everybody that she could. She wore shirts <laughs> that said, would you dance for $10,000? And it did catch people's attention. Like I didn't expect it to, but when we like went out, like places she would wear every day. Like every time we went out, she'd be wearing a shirt that says, would you dance for $2,000? And she'd give them a flyer and boom, more people know, just like that. That's really how we got the word out. A lot of our marketing was through Instagram. When she started getting those followers, she didn't really have to move. Uh, we used to uh, market through passing out flyers through neighborhoods, putting it on cars, but I feel like when she got this big following, she didn't really have to go out. We did a lot of promo videos for the competition. A hundred more days to the competition. 50 more days to the competition. Are y'all ready? Did you submit the dance? Um, we did a lot of marketing. We collected over 200 videos. Our goal was to get as many videos as we could to get the word out through news and whatever avenue, word of mouth, we were just gonna flood social media and the world with news of this competition. My mom did so much press for this. Um, we got interviewed by so many people, um, whether it was somebody off Instagram Live or um, we had a newscaster come and meet with us. We went to Charlotte and performed with Chub Rock um, a few times, actually. So that was still cool. This summer has been really eventful. And my mom was like, well, maybe we should give away some cash. Maybe we should give away some cash. How much cash? A thousand. No, not enough. Two thousand. No, I'm still not feeling right. Five thousand. Mm, that's okay, but... And then she said 10,000 and it just hit. $10,000 competition, Las Vegas, a million people, a million families. And we are well on our way. I wanted to make impact. I decided $10,000 because I want to impact. And I want to impact in a way for a dancer because dancers are, had not been rewarded as much before the pandemic and we became creators. Dancers really had have it hard you know, trying to make a living off what is an amazing craft and what entertains people and makes you smile. Giving away $10,000 to the winners was a, a very exciting feeling to know that you're able to sow into somebody's life, sow into their business, sow into what they're doing um, is always a good, uh, a good feeling for us. It kind of helps me prepare for my future and how I want to do things. You know, seeing my mom and pop and them being in a in a comfortable enough position to give away that much money and bless a family is is pretty encouraging. I'm happy for our family, uh, for my mom, um, because we are blessed enough to be able to give. And I just feel completely honored to be the person who can provide such an opportunity, you know? Dance saved my life. Um, Everything that I did kept me out of trouble had to do with dance. So, you know, and I just feel amazing when I'm dancing. I feel um, in that place where everybody looks for to go hide. You know, where can, where can you run to when you need peace? Where can you run to when you need to feel better? And for me, dance is that. When it happened, I was like, wow, like we're actually here in Vegas. People are here to compete for $10,000 and they're gonna get it when they win. Like, that's, that's crazy to me. It was a really cool experience. My name is Desmond. 
You call me Alpha Jet. Yeah. yeah. From Jersey. Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Try to say area, Philly, New York, you know, so we bring in the East Coast flavor. You know, the origins, the origins Come of on. the hippie hip hop. It's your boy, yeah. Joseph <laughs> yeah. Smith. Yeah. yeah. Joe Styles is my AKA. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, so we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna do what it do. Hey. The excitement was just so real. The whole time, from beginning to end, it's just OMG who is about to win. Hey, what's up? It's Bailey Munoz. This is my dad. How's it going? And we go by It Takes, Takes Two. <laughs> we are so excited. We are actually from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes. It's such an honor to be here. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Chub Rock, for having us. And we're just so excited. We're going to leave it all on the dance floor. And guess what? I'm 21, and he is 15. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're not but we are so excited. Thank you guys for having us. And uh, we'll see you guys tonight. Let's yeah, we're basically here uh, as a father and son. Um, you know, talk about it for, you know, for generations. Yeah, so it's about. that's what it's all about. And, and, and connecting with everyone here. The contest was, I don't know, very, very cool. All the competitors, they did so well. I literally don't know how they chose like a winner because <laughs> everybody seemed that good. Two months away from the competition, we have our top 10 finalists, our top 10 groups who are coming to Las Vegas confirmed to come to Las Vegas and compete for $10,000. I think the contestants are really nervous. You know, I met with each of them. It was amazing when we announced uh, who the winners were or who the top 10 contestants were. When we announced who the top 10 contestants were, they were flooded with emotions, shock, surprise. Um, and I think they are very nervous. What's going on, beautiful people? You already know who it is. Just your favorite deputy, deputy B, nice. deputy of the streets. And I'm here with my partner, Kaylee. Hey. From Miami. That's What's right, that's right, that's right. And hey, we gonna win this. We, we gonna win this. <laughs> Just know we gonna win this. They said they were nervous. They were like, ooh, I'm shaking, I'm nervous. But like, they did it. They danced really good. I mean, it's $10,000. First of all, you can't believe that somebody is giving away $10,000. And second of all, they paid no money um, to enter the competition. I am so sure they were wondering like, okay, what is this competition gonna be like? Who are the other contestants? We um, kept that pretty private along the way. It was very interesting, uh, in particular the interviews. Uh, the contestants were all on the same energy level to see other people, just every single person on that same level of energy and then just that pure dance, uh, the love of dance come out of their hearts. You know what I'm saying, what's going on? You know what I'm saying, we out here in Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying, we out here to team for free. I appreciate the camera Everybody that competed, they were amazing dancers. Like, they were so good. And they all knew it. They all knew they could dance. They all knew it. And it was just a matter of who's the best, which is crazy because they were all so good. Everybody was very professional and really, really good at what they do. They already knew the choreography. Now their next goal to win the $10,000 um, was to know the names of each move. 17 of them to be exact. Get your flashcards together. That's what I told them. We finally figured that we wanted each team to know each move and each team would have the opportunity to present each move to us um, in the best way, in the best performance way. And they did that, they came with the heat. Oh, they were all really excited. A couple of them that were nervous. Uh, most everybody did the interviews uh, pretty, <laughs> they were pretty excited and amped up and ready. Uh, it, was, it was interesting to see because people do have personal lives. It was um, very professional the way they were able to flip that switch off and flip on the, okay, now we need to get into dance and to contestant mode. And what's up, what's up, what's up? God's anointed here. Yes. All the way from Dallas, Georgia. Today, baby, and we, we got God on our side, our team. Ooh, 
That's hey, what's up. Hey. So we going to the tired best to win this thing, yo. Let's go. <laughs> Not to mention, it takes a lot of courage to get out there and put yourself out there and say, okay, this is the best I got and put it in, in reference to everyone else inside of a competition. I did go live. I did record it. <laughs> Even after that, everybody played nice. It was all friendly. I heard about them like, doing TikTok dances together. Every aspect of the competition brought everybody so much joy, you know, um, Talking with the contestants, they let me know that they had never been a part of anything like that. The competition on the whole was amazing. Hearing from the contestants and the audience and the viewers virtually that that was very well put together. They enjoyed every part of it. Having Chubb as a judge and him picking the winner was just wonderful. The biggest fear we had to face about this competition, I would say would have been COVID. See, me and COVID were about to have a fight several times when it came to this competition. Very nerve wracking, going day by day, watching COVID do what it do, but we made it through. That's been the biggest fear for the last two years for everything that we do around the world. Um, it was a huge risk going forward having a competition in another city during a pandemic. But what is reward without risk? Aha! Everybody that knows my platform understands that everything that I have is because of a mindset and it's called what's the best that can happen. We couldn't meet the contestants in person a lot because of COVID, I had to do Zooms. To meet them and stuff before the competition came up, we had to wear masks and stuff. COVID did restrict a lot, but we still ended up being able to do it. We, there was nothing that could stop the competition regardless of anything. COVID did do us dirty a little bit, a couple times. Um, four of the teams that were supposed to come um, actually got shut down because of COVID. They couldn't come. Um, so we did only end up having six teams, but that's okay because it was still a beautiful competition. I strongly believe there's definitely going to be something else like the competition if it's not another competition. It's a pretty humbling feeling to watch others win. I'm relieved <laughs> because it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I mean, I i didn't do much. I mean, I was just there dancing, but like, I know it was a lot of work on my sister, it's on my mom. and. Even for me, who barely had to do much, it felt like a lot for me. And I was always worried about the competition, always thinking about the competition. It was like a sense of relief and a sense of what's next. I feel blessed. I feel honored to be a co-host of the competition. I feel relief now that it's over. My favorite part about, about the process of the competition would be the collapse that that um, we did within the midst of it, like, you know, meeting different people and uh, other influencers, noticing us and, and just being able to, you know, expand. To also see your mother start a business that had a lot of trouble along the way and to see it flourish in such a way that is astronomical, you know, millions, over 20 million people are familiar with my work. That's, they're proud. Everybody deserves a mother they can be proud of. <laughs> I own a dance company. I have been dancing since a little girl. Um, that's the part of me that is value. That's my added value. Um, it's my passion and it's my gift. Now, professionally, I am also an accountant. I am a financial professional. I love financial literacy. I love all things dollars. I have a company called Prime Numbers Financial Services where I grow money. I plant money seeds and help people to increase in value financially. I started being pulled in a whole new direction of influencing the world through dance, um, family, and lifestyle. Um, so I, my life changed significantly. I, I put more focus on my dance company now and my brand management company, which is Marie Bustin Moves and The Morning Bunch, which includes my daughter, Patience Linnell and uh, Broadway, 
who is a dance a rap artist and also my daughter Mina Fresh. My husband has an IT company as well, RM31P. So we have a lot going on um, under our brands. And so we just constantly, we just decided to start pushing our individual brands and our family brand. What's the best that could happen? My name is Rodney Mooring. Um, I am Marie Mooring's husband. So we connected through eHarmony. We hit it off. Uh, by the first date, I already knew I was going to marry her. Straight up. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, we dated for about a year and a half, two years. Then we got married and we successfully blended that family. Now we have, you know, together with six daughters and a son. Our, our, our mission is to grow together as a unit and then affect the community of around us in a positive way. So at the end of the day, uh, I am very proud of my six daughters. They all have six individual personalities. And I mean, across the board, no two of them are the same. Um, they all have a lot of the same talents and they all have very unique and different talents. They're all very intelligent. Um, their minds are, have grown in a way in which we are proud of as parents because we know they're going to continue to grow that way. So The girls are excited. My family is excited. My husband is excited. The Mooring Bunch is on deck. Everybody has been so supportive. This was truly a family effort and I could not have done it without them. Um, and I hope that they know that. I tell them all the time. Mm. I am left to think about how all this became. It's truly amazing.